students today now let's get back to the another part of the human reproduction that is the female reproductive system so we need to know the female reproductive system will be knowing it through the process of diagram along the diagram there will be explanation so now quickly let's get back to the diagram so i'm grabbing this one the diagram is pretty easy you can do it so how will you be doing it you may like this v shape structure converge it then here you divide it okay then keep little bit gap here upper portion you make it like this then this one will be going up here this one that i am drawing now is the fallopian tube okay students this one is the ovary so we will be going for all the naming okay naming of all these things so this one is here So now quickly let's get get back to the diagram as well as the explanation without wasting any time okay students so now see a uh, female reproductive system consists of one pair of fallopian tube which one is the fallopian tube this is the fallopian tube f a l l o p i a n fallopian tube okay one pair how many pair fallopian tube one pair clear now the fallopian tube i'm going one by one is again divided into three most important part first part is called the infundibula infundi bulla second is ampulla third is isthmus these are the part of the fallopian tube why it is located now see this one this is the infundibulum this is what infundibulum this one infundibulum then infundibulum gradually becomes broader here this case this case it is called ampulla this is ampulla infundibula and here it is the isthmus this is one is the isthmus okay now what is happening infundibula is having a finger like projection here this is called fimbri f i m b r i a e fimbri okay what is fimbri it is a finger like projection that present at the anterior end of the infundibulum now let's have little bit we will be coming to that to the internal structure here this is the uterus after fallopian tube what you are finding we are finding another most important thing that is called the uterus 
U T E R U S. This is the uterus. This whole portion is called what? Uterus. This is uterus. Okay. Then after that, this is called cervix. C E C E R V I X. This one. And this one in between the cervix. This two are called cervix. This one and this one. Cervix. In between the cervix. See this part. This is called cervical canal. C E R V I C A L. Cervical canal. C A N A L. This one is the vagina. Which is a tubular structure. Now, we'll be going to detail to the fundus of uterine fundus. This one at the top. We'll be coming to the uterus now. Okay, this is the fallopian tube. We have discussed how many pairs of fallopian tube? One pair. I didn't come to the ovary till now. Ovary is also one pair. Let me tell you, we'll be coming to the ovary. Fallopian tube, how many? One pair. Having three parts. And this is the uterus. Uterus is one. And the uterus has three lining. That you have to keep in mind. How many linings are there? How many layers are there? Ovary has three layers. So I will be putting it with three colors here. This is the first one. Is the ovary here. Here remains one layer. Okay, this is one. Here, there is another layer. So, these are the layer which are called the metrium. Metrium. First one is called the perimetrium. Then comes myometrium. Okay. Then, finally, Last one, which I am putting with red. Here. Can you get it? This one that I have given with red, this part is called endo. Here I am writing endometrium m e t r i u m this metrium is common perimetrium myometrium and endometrium these are the layers you are finding now perimetrium is the one which remains just a lining with that of the uterus myometrium perform a great function in the contraction of the muscle at the time of delivery of the baby try to get the words and the main function of the endometrium remains in the menstrual cycle when there is the shedding of the cushion of tissues and blood capillary which remains there. So what is does? It is providing nourishment, development and environment to the embryo which is going to become a baby. Is it okay? Now let's come to the one thing that I left you, ovary. Here, ovary. This one is ovary. O V A R Y. Ovary. Ovary, there are one pair. How many pair of ovary are there? One pair. This is one ovary. Can you get it? This is one ovary. This is another ovary. How many pair of ovary are there? There are one pair of ovary. Ovary are connected with this. With these are the one with which it is connected. This is called the mesovarium. M E S O V A R I U M. Mesovarium. Okay? And it is connected with the uterus, like this. With green eye pudding. With the uterus, it is connected. It is called the ovarian, ovarian ligament. Is it okay to you? So I am writing it here. What it is called? O-V-A-R-I-A-N, ovarian, L-I-G-A, 
M E N T ovarian ligament another is that suspensory ligament which connect with that of the pelvis so that is how the ovary is there now we have to keep in mind that ovary produces egg egg enters it is outside yet egg enters where the fallopian tube through infundibulum this one and infundibulum i told you what it has fimbri finger like structure which connects the egg and in the fimbri there in the fibula i am putting here like this this is fimbri see here this is fimbri and in that there is one hole like this this is called ostia o s t i a ostia through which the egg enters this is the internal structure of the female reproduction external what it is i'll take only some moment to make you understand what externally it has externally it is having external it is called geni uh, genitalia or the vulva what are the things it has first of all you have to know the mons pubis what it is they are fatty tissue covered by a skin and has pubic hair there are also occurrence of minor and major okay this is called minora and majora what is that labia labia minora and labia majora labia is what lips majora is the outer lips or outer skin flap of skin and minora labia is the inner flap of skin and at the junction of the two types of lips of the labia there is the occurrence of clitoris clear yeah? so these two labia labia minora labia majora surrounds the vagina surrounds the vagina and vagina is a tubular structure which moves upward like that now in the mouth of the vagina is a membrane structure called hymen there is a small slit in between so that in case of the menstrual cycle blood can come out so first quarters after generally after the first quarters the hymen ruptures okay that is not is uh, maybe the case in every uh, hymen breakage okay but in general case it is there so these are the things we are finding in case of the female reproductive system thank you students